What's going on friends, it's your Jack here and today we're going to be looking at Etsy mockups and this is going to be part 4 of the Etsy tutorial print demand series so if you haven't seen the first 3 parts you can go back and look at them or if you just want to know about Etsy mockups and some advice that I can give to you from my experience then stay tuned for the rest of the video. But before we get into the good stuff, I just want to tell you guys, if you're new to the channel, my name's Jack and here on my channel, we like to talk about entrepreneurship and anything making money online related. Sometimes I do some challenges, sometimes I try new things, but generally we stick to print and demand and Amazon self-publishing at the moment. However, my horizons are broadened and my eyes are open for other opportunities. So if I do encounter some more opportunities, I'm going to be sharing them with you guys and I'm going to be keeping this channel pretty much a documentation of my progress and any tips I can give to you along the way. So if you want to see any of that stuff, hit the subscribe button and smash the like button if you enjoy any part of this video. All right, so mockups are a, you know, pretty complex subject when you look at them from a beginner standpoint. However, we're going to go over it pretty simply. The company that I'm using for fulfillment is going to be Printful and they actually offer a lot of mockups on the best selling shirts and they auto generate for you for each color. So that's really handy. I actually use the flat lay mockups with Printful as my backup images to show the other colors. And then I do use a manual mockup for each listing that I have bought off Etsy. And I'll show you guys that method of mockups in a second here. But first, we're going to go over to the Printful mockup generator. And I'll leave a link to this down in the description. But if you go to your Printful dashboard, it's in the bottom left. There's a mockup generator tool. However, when you're making your listings and pushing products to your store, you're going to have a mock-up section and it's a lot easier just to select the mock-ups there because it's going to do every color of your shirt and it's going to be really easy. But if you want to look at them, basically you can go to any of the shirts that they sell. I'm just going to go to t-shirts and we're going to look here at the Gildan because the Gildan and the Bella, they both have good mock-ups because they're best-selling shirts. But the shirt that I offered was the Gildan. So we're going to go to basically the mock-up generator and you actually have to add a design real quick so let me do that and we'll go to the mock-up generator so as you can see here I put a mama on our shirt because Mother's Day is around the corner so I was designing for Mother's Day uh, the other day and this kind of just came to mind right now when I was typing some basic text into you know make a test design however once you have your design uploaded and you have it positioned where you want it uh, you can go over here and click generate files then you're gonna have some options here um, what I would suggest for Etsy shops in general, unless you're selling like a specific like baby related item or a specific, you're targeting a specific person like a, a woman's shirt, a woman's design, like a mom or something like that, I would generally stick to flat lays because they apply to a broader audience. It's not going to be like a, the pe person that we is wearing it is going to affect the target audience a little bit. So I like to do the flat lays. Any of these flat lays at the bottom here are pretty good. There are some Halloween, Christmas, and Valentine's Day ones that actually look really, really nice. The lifestyle one is the one I would go with if you're not going to do another manual upload. But for me, I use this flat lay right here on the left. And I use that one because, and if I zoom in just so you can see it a little bit better, I use this one because I just want to show my colors after the fact I have my main image. My main color is a really nice mock-up. And then I want to show just the other colors on basic designs. And sometimes this flat lay, um, it does generate a little bit weird and a little bit crooked. So it doesn't actually align your text right. So it can look a little bit funky, but this lifestyle flat lay is really nice. And I do see a lot of shops using it that are pretty successful. So that is the easiest way to do your mockups. If you don't want to do anything else, you can just push them with Printful. I have made sales with just the Printful mockups. I recently switched to doing my own mockups because I feel like they look a lot better and attract more buyers. However, if you're just getting started, the lifestyle mockup right here on the right is really good. So are these two flat lays. They're also very good. And then if you're doing Christmas, Halloween, or Valentine's Day designs, they got some nice mockups for you. And then on the other brands of t-shirts and things like that, you're going to have different mockup options. So keep that in mind. And yeah, that's all I have for this section of the Printful mockups. Now let's go look at one other free option for mockups before we go to the paid mockup section and the ones that I actually use. So another option, and this is a free option, but it's also a paid option, um, is Place It. And I do have a link for Place It down in the description. But if you go to Freebies on um, Place It in the top left, you can actually get free mockups. 
and you can go down to the left hand side here and I'll zoom in so you can see but if you go down to the left hand side here and you go to t-shirt you can go to t-shirt click on it these are all freebies meaning place it's gonna let you use them for free and you have some nice mock-ups and what you could even do is take one of these nice shirts and just get a free background like a a wood background or you know a free lifestyle background off of somewhere like pexels or a free source a free image or just put a plain bright color or something in the background you could do that make your own mock-up or you can put it on someone and a lot of these do look really good and look right here this is a really good Christmas one that is absolutely free and if you pay for place it you also get thousands of more uh, t-shirt mock-ups so there's lots of good options on here especially if you're decent with graphic design you can really make these work in your Etsy shop and a lot of them look really really good say you had a kids design a mock-up like this would go crazy and it would be perfect for a kids t-shirt or a, like anything like that so you can get really specific on place it and you can also get some basic generic lifestyle ones on place it for absolutely free so if you want to browse these ones the free or not free if you lot if you have an account with place it to make t-shirt designs already you might already have this option to use a bunch of other basically great mock-ups so definitely explore the mock-ups on place it if you don't have place it already it is also a really good tool for designing graphics for your t-shirts so that's another thing that goes in with a subscription it's all in one and keep that in mind and now let's go to the way I do my current mock-ups and basically it's just buying some simple mock-up images from Etsy so the shirt I'm selling right now is actually uh, the Gildan 6400 so what you want to do is come up to the top and find the shirt that you're selling so I do 5400 and I'm gonna do black 6400 not 5400 and I believe it's 64,000 so Gildan 64,000 and one thing to keep in mind that I did not keep in mind is make sure it's not a v-neck unless you're selling v-necks make sure it's the exact shirt because there's a v version of these things but basically you find one you like and these are all really good and you're gonna recognize some of them because a lot of the top sellers they use these mock-ups because they're good mock-ups they're attractive and you know people want to buy them so if we look here I actually use I believe some a different mock-up from this uh, seller right here they have a lot of really good mock-ups they are a bit pricey but I only have one mock-up for my guild in, in black and one in white and that's it there's only two mock-ups I bought for the t-shirts I do sell sweaters but I just use the placement mock-ups for my sweaters the lifestyle placement mock-ups because they are really good uh, sweater mock-ups however really doesn't matter that much but you want to get something that pops a bit and looks professional and if you can get something a little bit more unique that's good too and yeah if you want to browse these on Etsy they're only a few bucks for one and they only come in one color usually some of them have different like packs with col multiple colors so there's another options but just browse around here make sure you're getting the shirt that you're selling so don't go get a Bella canvas uh, mock-up if you're not selling Bella canvas you're gonna run into a lot of troubles and that just runs the risk of closing your Etsy shop so be careful and make sure you're not false advertising and when you have this mock-up what you can do is you bring it into Photoshop or some kind of photo editing tool and you're gonna have to import the design that you have and basically just crop it and fit it on the shirt so it does take a little bit of graphic skill but not that much so if you just have a basic understanding of how to use any Photoshop any of those tools I would recommend doing that and using this type of mock-up because they're gonna convert a little bit better than the default place it mock-ups all right one last tip uh, for Etsy and this is probably gonna be the most important tip because it doesn't really matter if your mock-ups good or not if your design is too zoomed out it's not gonna convert as much as you'd like something that is very zoomed out like this shirt here is gonna sell a lot less in general compared to a shirt that's zoomed in like this you can see the design when you're scrolling past it catches your eye you know what the design is you know what it's about if you like it you scroll and you click it if you don't like it you keep scrolling but chances are if there's a small design like this and you don't read it and it doesn't catch your eye like something like this big and bold catches your eye and you're not gonna see, if it doesn't catch your eye you can't even decide if you like it or not so you need to zoom in on your mock-ups make sure design is apparent if I click on one of these you're gonna see what I mean Papa very zoomed in easy to see the design click on it and it's zoomed out right they zoomed in on their feature tab all you have to do to do that is go to your at your listing and on the featured image just adjust the little slider that's it 
then adjust it, center it, make sure it kind of still looks like a t-shirt and you can tell it's a shirt. Don't just zoom all the way in. Uh, this one, they kind of did that, but it works. So zooming in is better than not zooming in. You can actually, as long as you can see the design, make it look clean, fit the whole design in there and you're going to be way better where something like this, look how zoomed out it is. You can barely read the design and it's hard to see if they were zoomed in, they'd probably have way better luck with making that listing convert like this design right here it's very similar to the one above but this one zoomed in it catches your eye a lot more and you can read it so very important that's the last tip i want to leave with you guys and thank you guys so much for watching the place it or the mock-up tutorial if you want to know more about mock-ups let me know in the description if you have any questions i'll be sure to answer them or you know make another video on them possibly and there is going to be more videos to this series so stay tuned Hope you guys Etsy shops are doing well. Let me know what you guys think of this series so far. And with all that being said, it's been your friend Jack. And if you made it to this point in the video, comment down below Etsy, all right? But hope you guys have a great freaking day. Stay blessed. Keep striving. Chase your dreams. Peace out.